Hey guys, thanks for turning into Straight to the Core, an in-depth, no-nonsense look into all things physical therapy, wellness, and the business of being healthy. We are your hosts. I'm Claire. I'm Mark's wife. And I'm Mark. I'm Claire's husband. We got a fun one today. We do. By, by popular request, this, uh, this is hopefully part one of probably a couple because we did get some questions that we won't get to, but we are going to do a little AMA and ask me anything. We had a box. It was a Kleenex box, actually. That was the, retrofitted. Yes. And we had we had some patients and some some dropper buys to the clinic that just put down a little question that maybe they wanted answered. Most of them were appropriate. Yep. We we did take out some of the not G rated ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, Mark and Claire are a little stuffy today because mostly Claire wanted to sleep with the windows open last night. It's that time of year. I don't know what that is. It was a helicopter. There's a helicopter Whoa. overhead. That's not good. <laughs> I thought I had done that. Yeah. Uh, Mark and Claire wanted to sleep with the windows open last night. We did. It was and great. So, it was fantastic. It's fall. Yeah. Hopefully there's not snow on the ground by the time this podcast comes out. But Yeah, don't say that. I know. Without further ado, we each have some questions. We know enough to write them down from the little scraps of paper, but we really haven't talked about them in length, so I think it'll be fun to, to come up with these. So, Mark, you want to start? What's your first AMA? Yeah, and it's important to remember, we have not talked about these, so no. this is just like kind of... It's off the cuff. I haven't looked at a lot of these. Oh. All right. The first question is, who has more pairs of shoes? And that's a tough one because I, I haven't See, counted. You know, this this is one we probably should have read earlier because I, there's. You do. I, the answer is you I do. Probably do. I think you do. You might have more shoes that you wear on like a regular rotation. Probably. I don't think I have as many like regular. Sh well, you like do. Eight. You just don't wear them. Well, that's not true. They're too I high. They're, your closet's too high. <clears throat> For somebody who wears athleisure like 99% of the time and wears tennis shoes or athletic shoes like 99.9% .9 of the time, I have an atrociously high number of like carter bar shoes is what we call them. Yes. They're heels. <laughs> yes. Unstable heels. Uncomfortable heels. A little, a little stiletto action. I'm short. I've been short my entire life. So I learned how to walk in heels very early. And so I've accumulated, you know, like my girls will understand, like on a fat day, your shoes always fit. Your shoes normally fit. So, you know, you just accumulate them. And then all of a sudden you're in, you're in your low to mid forties, I guess. And you don't go out in uncomfortable shoes anymore. No, and there's been a few unfortunate circumstances with said heels. I've had, yes. Vegas. I've, I've had some stumbles. But now I, now I wear a very appropriate brunch heel when we go out. So it's yeah. thicker, more stable. Yeah, but I, like, I would say as a whole, you probably have more shoes that you wear. Mm. Like they, they have are, are equal opportunity shoes. Okay, so I have more athletic shoes or athletic casual shoes that I can wear at any time than you do. I think I last counted in the 80s. Favorite pair of shoes? My favorite pair yeah. of shoes? And please don't say those BK Knights that you have. <sighs> Not retro. I like retro things. Ooh, my favorite pair of shoes is probably a pair of shoes I can't wear very often. Have you ever worn them? Yes. It's tied between my okay. my Gucci glitter Bambies, <laughs> which I've worn twice in like eight years because they're not always appropriate. It's like a disco ball on your foot. And then my Black Spike uh, Louboutins. Oh. I like those. It's a suit. You can wear them with, you know... Jeans, whatever, not shorts, but usually someone will comment on them. I always get a comment on both of those mm -hmm. shoes. I don't know. Oh gosh. I'd th probably say like one of my favorite pairs of shoes I've never worn before. I bought them one year for my birthday, for my 40th birthday. And then we had, you've never some, worn them since well, your 40th birthday. No, I bought them for my 40th birthday and then things went awry. Oh yeah. That's a whole different story. So I didn't get to wear them. We had a flat tire. Okay. I hit some train tracks at a high rate of speed. Yeah, and we missed our dinner speed. reservation yeah, was unfortunate. for my 40th birthday. Yeah, she couldn't change a tire and she's at that. Okay. So there was Claire was at that awkward <laughs> age where she was not young enough to have a passerby helper, but not old enough to have a that passerby somebody felt like they helper. Had to. And she has that resting face. That's not always super approachable. So no one helped us. I was on the phone with, Mercedes me connect, which was a complete colossal waste of time. The whole thing was a colossal waste of time because Correct. you have run flats and we didn't know that. 
Yeah, well, I didn't realize you could just drive normally on run flats because it feels pretty weird to drive on them like that. But. I think you have to like you have to get up to speed, right? So that they kind of like the the force. I mean, I drove them about three miles. It wasn't that far, and they handled terrible, but. And they sounded terrible, but shout, shout out to Kurt for the rescue on that one. Yeah, he saved us, and then we went to dinner later that yeah. night. It was so I do have a soft spot for those shoes that I've never been able to wear. Okay, but so you have 120 pairs of shoes. I have 80. I, I'm not committing to that number by yeah. any means. I don't even. I, you know what? I couldn't even tell you if that's low or high. It's a lot. I could I could tell you without a doubt though the pair of shoes in my closet that if you were given one free for all to just take a pair and. A, Oh, I, I got a couple. I I could tell you what the first pair is. Yeah, well. Anyway. All right, well, move well, on. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, probably related to that. My first question is, do Mark and Claire share money? <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer to that is complicated. Yes. Uh, we don't share disposable money. Obviously, like, we built a house together. We have a business together, so we have... Shareable expenses. Yeah. Vacations. Uh, Obviously, um, we share money for groceries, I guess, which isn't fair. You eat more expensively than I do, but you eat considerably more than me. I eat pretty cheap, but you eat a lot of it. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't uh, buy $10 <clears throat> blueberries that go bad in three days. No, that's, that's a false statement because anybody who knows, knows that blueberries last for a while. It's the blackberries that mold quickly. No, three days, $10. Sometimes, sometimes. You're, yeah, you're not entirely wrong on that one. Uh, do we do we share money? No, like our, dis I guess, discretionary money? Like, we each get a paycheck because we each work, and we each work, God, like, 60, 70 hours a week. Towards the end of the year, we're each working 80 hours a week. So our paychecks, we each get paid, and then we each p put in a set amount of money or leave a set amount of money into our joint account, which goes out to pay our expenses. And then anything left over is just our money. Yeah. So, so the answer is both. Yeah. Uh, it's better that way because I don't know what she's spending on purses and shoes and, uh, she doesn't know what I'm spending Bags. on whatever. And some other, yeah, other items. So I think by not sharing the majority or at least half of the money that we get from discretionary income has probably saved a lot of fighting probably. over the years. I think in the beginning of our marriage, it was a little more difficult because we didn't work together. And so Mark has two years more experience than me out in the field. Remember that. And so his, in, in healthcare, this is, this is just par for the course. Like his salary reflected that, that he made more money than me initially. And then I had a PRN job. Plus I taught spin. And I went to a cheaper school before yeah. you did. Yeah. So, so interest rates are a little different. Our loans were a little different there in the beginning before we had paid him off. Yeah. But so, yeah, it was, it was probably a little more difficult at the beginning because I had to have a PRN job. I think we should probably talk about like our student loans and going to college as a separate podcast. It'd be kind of interesting to see what it is now versus what it was then. Oh, yeah, we'd have to get we'd have to get some info from like, the, the youngins. youngins. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, to, so that it's com it depends question. Or In answer. general, yes, we share money, but the discretionary income per month that we have separately is that we don't share that at all no and you know luckily mark and i don't really have very many friends so like we go out together so it's not like i got this one hey you buy dinner no you buy dinner i'll buy this round of drinks i mean we're just we pretty much Correct. hang out with each other yeah and a lot of our friends were friends with their spouses so when we go out it's still just us yeah mm -hmm. yeah simple one yeah Next. All Man, right. We are just flying through these. Look at this. Answering these burning questions. Ooh, this is hard to answer. What's the worst injury either of us have ever had? Oh, that's easy. Broke my collarbone. That's pretty low end, actually. And the, the mechanism of injury is just like, you know. But it still bothers me to this day. I broke it when I was in college. <laughs> Well, that's you want to share the still, still once in a while, like, oh, it is gonna you storm. You want to share that story? It's funny. I will share that story while you think of your answer. I can think of the worst injury that you've had since we've been together. Uh, <laughs> when you had to have have someone drive your car to take you to the yeah dock. yeah yeah, but that's not really an injury. I don't yeah, even count that. Uh, when I was in college, I was on a rowing team, and. 
there there has to be a tiny little bit of backstory otherwise you won't 100 percent understand why but when you load boats like you're carrying a boat on your shoulder that sounds you, funny when you're like when you load when boats you load a boat for sounds, traveling well, okay? don't look that up so you, take on the, Urban you take the riggers off which are all the things that like kind of stick out to the side of the boat and you're loading the shells essentially so you're carrying them on your shoulders and then you have to put them up on this trailer and this trailer is like a one-trick pony it doesn't do anything else other than just carry rowing boats because it's just a series of like crossbars and and metal so we're doing our thing we're putting the putting the boats up go back around and you have to go and like pick up all the little access boat accessories right i'm talking i'm literally not paying attention to what i'm doing I'm talking to someone, my head is turned. The people who are carrying the boat in front of me have stopped. I do not stop because I'm walking and talking. And I walked right into the end of the boat. Okay, so hold on. So you were holding the back end of the boat? So in No, my I was done. I was done. I was boatless at that point. So you walked into a boat that was not that was moving. stationary. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's in my mind. I what ran it. The boat didn't run into me. I literally ran into the boat. And that broke your collarbone. Clothesline me, just hit right there. Did you fall down? Yes. You did? Yeah. How fast were you walking? Well, you seem like when, I, when I'm on a mission, fast, yeah, I, yeah. Get a, I get a good clip going. She walks faster than I do, probably. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, obviously didn't know it was broken right away. I just was like, oh, really, really got a good one there. And mm. then after oh, maybe about a day where I was like, oh, I, am, I really can't move my left arm very much. Then went through the training room and yeah, I wore the brace for like a day. Because they're wildly uncomfortable. Yeah. And I, I definitely looked at it. I didn't really have much of a defect in it. It was just kind of like a little crack. Patient but compliance with this one is poor. Poor, poor to very, very poor. Very, yes. Yeah. Not great. What about you? Uh, I've had a lot of like small injuries, but not like actual orthopedic injuries. I've had plenty of back issues over the years that have left me very uh, incapacitated for medium to short time frames. Mm -hmm. I have had a couple of... You like tore, halfway tore your pec. Yeah, I've done Remember that. that? <clears throat> uh, I've done that several times. The time that you were incline benching... And the bar somehow fell out of, of my arms. That could have been, I mean, that was probably a bicep tear waiting to happen. Yeah. And yeah somehow I, it I'm didn't. not sure how that happened, but it came out of my hands and I caught it in a Zercher incline position I did and Claire was spotting me. So she obviously wasn't really like spotting yeah, me that yeah, closely. The bar that, yeah. I, I still have no I, idea I how that happened. I don't know what happened. It happened yeah. very quickly. It wasn't a ton of weight at the time, but you know, just got a little head up myself apparently. Yeah. So no great injuries really keep it that way. Yes. Um, this was, this is actually one that we knew about ahead of time because it's just, it's funny and it was a comment in the clinic, but what is so random? What is your favorite mild inconvenience that you would like to do to someone you hate? Oh, I mean, that's easy. Give them like an itch you can't scratch. That drives someone crazy. But you can't, but you can't do that. Like you, it has to be something that oh, you Oh, this could, is realistic? Yeah. Like what could you control? Like, I don't know. Some flat tires or something? That's probably the easiest. That's boring. But like, what do you mean? Like I would, I would remove the fuse that made the, the seatbelt chime go off constantly. Pepper ball them in their car? That's really not that's the question. That's inconvenient. Like stealing every, like stealing every fork in someone's house. I was not privy to this question, actually. We were, yeah, we were talking about it in the clinic. I don't know. I, I can't come up with something that isn't like a you only bit for females. Like you only have shampoo and you have no conditioner. Steal someone's toothpaste. I don't know. Okay. Not a good one. Uh, next question. Next question is, it's a very personal question, so I'm somewhat offended by this, is how many cats do we have? I have two cats. And I have two. And I think that's all we need to elaborate on. That's... We have four cats. And we live in Douglas County in Nebraska, and you can have five. So we are not actually, we could have more. 
We are Oops. below cat capacity, yes. but we, we are, are at cat capacity. We are above what I am comfortable with cat capacity wise. So when yeah. we go to three, we will stay at three. Two to three is probably at my maximum in my mind. Which one do you want to get rid of? <sighs> the old one. He's on his way out anyway. No, he's the best one. He's the best cuddler. Yeah. He, yeah. I get rid of the young one. 16, 17, 16. She can be gone. That's your cat. I know. You chose that cat. I regret that decision. Who's the better athlete? I, uh, it probably depends on what you're talking about, but all around, it's probably not me. <laughs> I think I'm athletic in different ways, but as far as like a motor learning point of view, she's generally better at things the first time, but she gets extremely irritated when she's not good at something very quickly, which is why we don't golf I, I or play was, tennis. I, I was going to say things that require like a little bit more skill and finesse. I think you're probably better at like golf, uh, like pure athleticism. I'm, I probably have the slight edge. I mean, we, tr we tested this in a Mark versus Claire episode from 2017 yeah, track and field. I think I won. You, uh, no, I think I did. Well, uh, I did because we were comparing it to like our respective our genders. Yeah. yeah. So I think I won, but technically, I think I think you technically won more events, but like I'm no shot butter. Uh, You're no we, hurdler. We didn't sh throw shot, did we? We did either the shot or the discus. We threw the disc. Oh well, I'm no discus. Well, apparently. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we did like a true decathlon who would come out on top there like if it's head to head i'd beat you at a lot of the running that's 200 and under eh, we did the four yeah i did beat you at the four i gave up it was tactical i beat you at 400 i i don't think i beat you at the 100 hurdles though no i don't like the hurdles they make me nervous i was never a hurdler and claire clearly was so she was way more efficient I with hurdling. I read the 400 hurdles. If you know me in real life, I'm like five foot one on a good day. So hurdles aren't my strong suit. No problem. There was no I mean, shuttle, shuttle hurdle relay. That's not in a my real thing. college career, or in my high school career. <laughs> my Iowa people will understand that. Uh, so yes, Claire is actually a better athlete because she was a division one scholarship athlete at Creighton. Mm -hmm. I was not. Mm -hmm. I was none of those things. And you were there for several sports. Mm -hmm. So... All American, um, yeah. Team captain, oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't have any of those credentials, so I've done a lot of different sports in my day. I'm fairly athletic, but Claire's got me beat on that one. We can agree to agree on that one. I'm more of the mental athlete. <sighs> a mathlete? Mm, I didn't say mathlete. I said mental athlete. Mm. Um, I know what your oh, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't. Know. What's your last one? Who's the better driver? Okay, so that's easy and hard to discuss. Yeah, that's debatable. All right. I you, would say like on a on a everyday basis, Mark drives both faster and slower than me. Like you drive like a grandpa when you want to. When you're in the car, because I'm preserving your life. Precious cargo. <laughs> When I'm in the car alone, I'm probably more aggressive, but I'm conservatively aggressive, whereas you're just plain aggressive. Your tires have worn out in 20,000 miles. I have places to go. Yeah, clearly your brakes are probably about to go as well. Drive a, a sport wagon. <laughs> you don't drive a sport wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I, I'm sure the person who wrote this question down was referencing a... Uh, another Mark versus Claire. From 2017. Yeah, oh, where there was Ferraris to be raced. Yeah, so long story short, we go to Vegas sometimes, and we do some car racing sometimes, although we don't do it anymore because Claire beat me one out of like five times, and now she is, in again. her mind, undefeated and retired. Mm -hmm. I'll never race again. She did beat me when we were racing 458 Italia Ferraris on the track in Las Vegas. Yeah, not, not just beat. It was handily. Yeah, it was a solid purple sector. 
she was very aggressive and because it's not my car i was not quite as aggressive with that so you know she beat me i wasn't trying to win i was uh, i've beat that time since in a different car I'm, i beat that time since i beat it before actually but in that particular car you're better or you were you're more dangerous i've had more accidents than you though not not neither of us for a little bit of time Oh, yeah. I mean, you've definitely had more accidents, but I haven't had an accident knock on wood since I was like 18, 17 years old. And I haven't had a speeding ticket since I was 19. I haven't had speed. Uh, but you did get pulled over more recently than me. Uh, I've been pulled over a few times, but it's always for like a secondary violation. That's not actually a violation. They'll be hassling me for my like license plates having like a cover over them or... I didn't have my sticker on my license plate, but it was in my glove box. Your wife told you to fix that. Yeah, the officer's like, hey, why didn't you put your stickers on? I'm like, no, 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 I haven't got to it, but my wife has been bugging me about that for quite some time. And he's like, well, you should listen to your wife. And I wanted to say, do you always listen to your wife? But I chose not to. That's probably smart. I just let it go. I'm like, yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> That's probably smart. But as far as a ticket, I haven't got a ticket since I was 19. Oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, not even a parking ticket. Although where we live, there you can't. How are you gonna get a parking yeah, ticket? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I've had a parking ticket. Uh, what's your last question? The last question is who is actually the real boss at Core? Oh, uh, we make a joke all the time when Mark says something inappropriate that I'm HR, or if I act most of the time when I say something inappropriate, then I'm like, well, I'm HR and I HR feel like is I've fine actually then. fired more people than you have. Oh, probably. See, but the but the trick is to <laughs> get them to quit. Well, <laughs> that's easier. Yeah. That's the that's the secret of HR. That's a secret. I, I, it depends on the situation. I have a thing where I do one or two things that she doesn't do and she does two or three things that I don't do. So we don't really cross the streams in that way. No. And I, we know enough about what the other person does to be able to commiserate. Like I can complain to Mark about billing or I can complain to Mark about insurance and he knows enough about what I do that he can understand why I'm aggravated or what my, what my beef is. But not enough to kind of like interject and, and be like, well, you should do this. Which is probably a good thing. Yeah. Agreed. And I do, and I, I yeah. do a lot of, I do a lot of different stuff than the billing part. Yeah. Mark does a lot of the SEO or the, the social media search engine optimization. I'll occasionally point out a grammatical error. Yeah. It's hard for me to catch my own errors because my brain only goes so fast. Oh, nice update. <laughs> But, uh, Two seconds. yeah, I do all the website stuff. I do all the videos online. I do all the podcast stuff, editing, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Takes a while, but most of the marketing. Yeah. The on online submissions and things like that. I do the billing, the insurance, the HR, payroll, accounting, bookkeeping. Yeah. Ordering. <laughs> I do the shopping. The hand soaps. Yeah. Claire, Claire's in charge of hand soaps. Yep. hundred percent. Seasonally appropriate. That's what we need helps. to do. Each of our 800 techs that we actually employ, they should each have one job. Oh, gosh. Other than just being a tech. Well, yeah. You're in charge of soaps. You're in charge of envelopes. You're in charge of needles. When we need those things <laughs> and we're running out, you have to make sure that they get ordered. Yeah, but we go through we go through techs fast enough that then someone will be like, well, whose job is it to tell me about soaps? And they're like, oh, that was like three hires ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hiring the entry level positions are difficult especially on retention because people move away or they go to college or they have sports that they play or whatever yeah the pros and cons of owning your own business it's a whole another topic yeah yeah that's it that's that's all we have for round one like yeah. i said i'm i think that there will probably be multiple parts of this one probably but we'll come back to it yeah some embarrassing stories or fun facts or things like that could if, be interesting. If you've ever been in clinic, then you know that we get off topic and on other tangents pretty easily. And then that's the conversation just flows into to other questions and inappropriateness. There's, there's lots of internet sleuthing and Google searches there. So I'm sure this is part one of many to come. Correct. Ongoing. Yes.
But as always, you can check us out. Or if you have another question that you want to ask us, drop us an, an AMAQ. So, yeah. An wow, that's a, a lot of acronyms. I know, wow. AMAQ. Uh, on our social media, we are Coral Maha on Instagram. We are Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance on Facebook. And then, of course, we are Core Omaha on the World Wide Web. Mm, are we in, to, are we in what was formerly known as Twitter? No. Are we in X? No. We're not on TikTok, I can tell you that. That's too much technology. I'm old. We might we might actually have a Twitter. I'm not sure. Uh, we used to. I don't think I've done much with it lately. So if you tweet at us, we won't answer. But we appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah. But either way, check us out. Send us your questions. As always, we are Mark and Claire. Signing out. We're out.